when you're working with a cape that has a minor cloak. zone... It's cloak. a cloak! I'm so sorry! It's all right. It's, it will be offended. It'll come in here and slap you or something that is untoward. I can feel it tugging at the back of my shirt. Oh, when not the cape. Okay. When you're working with a CGI cape... Cloak. It's okay. I said I put it in your head again. You did. Sorry. I've cloak. What is happening there? <laughs> I mean, what is happening? Sorry. You have to work off... Um, I mean... I have to work off fabric. Thick, tapestry, rich fabric. Um, I mean, are the Russo's going, okay, so it's swooshing here, and now it's tugging you there? It kind of does its own thing. It's... Yeah, it's got a lot of things in its rider which are difficult to navigate on the day. It really takes its time making its mind up as to what it's going to do, and just when you've rehearsed it, it pulls in the opposite direction, for example. Improvising. Improvising. I mean, who needs improvising outwear? It's just, it's hard enough with, you know, other brilliant actors improvising without your costume suddenly doing it. Mm. I am a script man. I'm quite bound to the word on the page. Yes. So I find working with a cloak tiresome and difficult. And Particularly when idiots like me say its name wrong. Say it, Roby. I, I, I don't mind you saying it. I, it gets really pissed off when it's called Roby. I quite like it. <laughs> it's like a little sort of thin bit of satin. See? <laughs> I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, you're using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. And the last thing I want to say is, yes. I very much love that interview with you and Tom Holland where you very deftly prevent him. Shut up! Um, that's a good question, again. I'll answer it. Um, he <laughs> is really, really, really fun to work with. And oh, um, it's Likewise. nice to be on set with a friend. <laughs> and yes. <laughs> it's like chaperoning a sewer. I just don't know what's going to come out of that. Just, no, gob. Yeah, he, it's very endearing. And I don't know how much is him playing. He's really smart. I don't know how much, of course, he is. He's smarter than I could ever be, but, um, yeah, it's a fun game to play. He's going to get roasted a lot this month, so I want to put a big, a big shout out for him because Mackie et al are going to just have a field day. <laughs> Bring Thomas juice volume. <laughs> <laughs> he gets cranky when he doesn't have his sugar. I think the Bruce brothers have already cracked the greatest fun today, saying we're just not allowing him to see the film. <laughs> That's it. He's coming to the premiere, but then just before he goes through the door, yeah. in a black cab. There's this new thing, this new sort of anti-social media cloak. We're just going to throw it over him. It's like a big sort of bit of tin foil. Mm -hmm. So we'll come in looking like he's done the marathon. Oh, hi, guys. Hi. Yeah, it's time. I'm really excited to be here. Talk to you. Later. No, I can't because otherwise I'll admit secrets. So, um, yeah, they closed me down with this bit of foil. <laughs> um, I'm glad you said cloak because if you said cape, I'd have flipped out. <laughs> a robe of foil. Thanks for watching. For more, check out my BBC iPlayer show, Movies with Ali Plum. And don't forget to listen to me on Greg James's show on BBC Radio 1 every Thursday at about quarter past six, where you can hear the very latest movie reviews from yours truly.